Well, how do there, chums? Says I, Captain of the Steves, and yours is a cup of tea with moi. And I'm going to be playing the Outer Worlds, as you can probably tell from that screen over there, people. That one, that one there. Uh -huh. What a majestic looking ship it is. Right, well, let's hit on up, continue, and let's jump on in, shall we, people? Let's jump on in, over into game. Yes, that save, please. Lovely jubbly. Boom! We're into game, people. Well, no, I'm not quite central. Let's just move myself over there. I don't really need the view counter up there. Don't really need that. Could take that off, couldn't I? Yes, because it's not live, people. Not live. So we go. And boom. Expand that folder. And turn off the view counter. There we go. Well, hello. I can't really remember what we was doing, love. Oh, yeah. We was going to be heading down into some sort of cave to see some lady that... Uh, has something or other that I need. Right, where was that then? Item repair. Okay, we need to repair items. Fine. Um, well, that one's got 109 DPS. Can I just swap that one out for that one? I want to swap that. Oh, 215 DPS? What the fudge am I rocking around with this for then? Oh, okay. I need to inspect it anyway. All right, well, there's the inspect. How do I actually fix it then? Ah, ha, ha. There we go. Yes, accept. There we go. Done. Brilliant. I, I think I've just done that, haven't I? Options. Repair. Accept. How many times do I have to repair this dang thing? I don't even need it. I can just swap it out for a freaking another gun. Alright, how do I swap guns now? Oh, got a sword and sword. Oh, look at that thing. Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. Right, how do I get to my mission? Let's go to the old missions log. Hopefully quest. Yep. Come now, the power. A stranger in a strange land. Okay, cool. So we could either divert the power from the geothermal plant or deliver Reed's message. We're, go we're going. we we'll go do that. we we'll go do that, shall we? All right. 25 meters this way. Sweet. We're going to go out this door. And I guess we're going to be heading to the left is what I'm thinking. I guess. Adrena time. What the fudge is that all about? Lovely. Cool, yeah. Spend points and get a skill group. Raises every skill. Ooh. Well, that's not related to the injection. That's just um, random tips at the bottom there, people. Oh, wow. Look at the skybox. This game is quite nice. I mean, it's a PS4 game. Yes, I'm playing it on a PS5, but even still, it's quite majestically awesome. Great. I've got to run 500 meters this way without no sort of means of transport. Fun times. There we go. What's that little... Oh, that's my targeting receptacle. <laughs> I wonder what the white dot was in the centre of the screen. I don't know whether you guys can see it. It's teeny tiny. Okay, cool. Junkyard discovered. 200 XP. So there's little signs that pop up behind where my camera is right now. They're just XP markers. Some of them are repeated again at the top of the screen when I complete the mission. It's not overly useful information. I don't think you guys are missing out on much with my camera placement. Head on over this way. Coolios. Up this lovely hill. Okay, well this looks pretty much dead. Where is everybody? I would have imagined I would have got ambushed by now. This says me just running through here quite casually. Right there. Um, hello. You're a marauder, mate. You are. I'll take that. And that. And a bit of this. Boom. Heck yes. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And dead on to this world. Heck yes you are. Boom. I'm going to have your little sword. I'm not really into repair mechanics in games. Of, of anything, really. You know, I just like to jump in, play, shoot things. I'm taking shed loads of damage, but from what? Oh, for fudge's sake. You know what? I need to put on some headphones. And then I'll be able to hear what's going on. Fudge in hell. Right. I didn't realise I was taking damage, even though the freaking screen was flashing red. Sorry, people. I told you I'd get ambushed, didn't I? I expected an ambush. I should have known better, people. Anyway, this is a good time for a little swig of tea. Oh, some biscuits. All right, well, we're all the way back here again then, aren't we? Right. Well, we know now, at the city where there's an ambush, there's an ambush. Ha! <laughs> freaking called it, mate. Freaking called it. I wonder if I can just run around the out. No, probably gonna have to go through the middle still, but just be a little bit more cautious this time and shoot some people. All right, fine. Here we go to save the day. 
Yes, it's the same sorts of walkway, people. I didn't notice that before. Look at all that lava just sort of pouring down there. That's a bit of a hazard, isn't it? Can burn somebody's souls off of their feet with that. Right, okay, let's head on over then, anyways. Right, what's this place on the left, anyway? Looks like a giant junkyard. Like in these cranes and stuff. There is a sense this world is lived in and used, which I quite like. Oh, we've got skill perks. We've got skill perks. Is there anything to up my frickin's constitution, you know? There probably is. Um, dodge block. I, I don't even know what the dodge button is. I, I just keep jumping all the time. All right, fine. Um, I'm going to stick it into stealth just so I can get the uh, lock picking up a bit. There we go. Lock picking is now at 22. I think I should be all right for lock picking. There's a lot of talking, so I'm just going to chuck a load into persuasion. Now this is normally getting as high as my tech tree. I'm going to get my tech tree up a little bit further. Let's put one in there. Jesus. I can put... Oh, here we go. Def no, that's that's just block. But we'll put it into there anyway. I don't think I can block bullets. But there we are. Hopefully we'll put that into there. Um, yeah, okay. Put a little bit into melee. I've completely, completely not done anything with leadership. Alright, fine. Sweet. Time dilation locations. Okay, cool. Alright, fine. Lovely, jubbly. Let's just press on then. I haven't really looked at skills yet. Maybe I should. Maybe I should look at skills. There might be one to make myself immortal. <laughs> there isn't. I wouldn't have fought anyway. Alright, let's head on over this way. Right, so we know that there's a load of gits in here. Now what I could do is maybe... I could probably stealth this, couldn't I? Just sort of just, um, you know... Duck and cover through here. Doodly doodly do. Okay, keep them quiet. Yeah, keep quiet. <laughs> I love it. I'm still going into stealth and she starts talking. Brilliant idea. Okay, we're going to sneak around the back of this building. We're going to go for the sneaky approach. I mean, yes, I could get a load of XP from killing them, but did you see how many there were? There was a couple. Hopefully they're not going to see me. No, there they are, the little marauders. Sneaky, sneaky marauders. We're going to head up this whole side road. I'm not going to take the main road. Sweet. Chickaboom. Oh, hold on, people. Just want to be a second. Right, okay, people. Well, I decided to look at the perks tree. And I thought it'd be quite a long time to read them all. So I'm going to go for toughness anyway. So, And I've got one more perk left. So I'm thinking of either going for that one, resilience, or this one. Because it means that I don't have to fix my weapons as often. And I was just saying how much I don't like fixing weapons. So I'm going to go for that one. But yeah, there's some really cool ones in here. Like additional XP from companion kills. I just don't know how long I'm going to have a companion for. So once I've got a lot more vendors, that would be a good one to have. But I'm liking this. This is really quite cool. Anyway, um, I want to go back and I want to apply those. Apply. Apply. I'm pressing square for apply there. Yeah, accept. There we go. We've got those two. Lovely jubbly. R2, details, you can see there. I'm only level four. I'm only level four at the moment, people. I haven't got hardly any reputation. There's loads to this game by the looks of things, peeps. All right, well, it looks like we've come across another little mini town where I'm probably going to get ambushed. So, again, I'm just going to leg it round the back. I know that's the coward's way, but you know what? This is only the what I've got to go back anyway. So, maybe I'll kill people on the way back. Uh-oh, there's a giant freaking slug creature. It's seen me. I think it's seen me. Run, run away. No, don't duck. Run. Like the freaking wind, Captain Steve, like the wind. Not the breezy kind, heck no. You don't want to be running around like a, a little gust. No, you want to be like a freaking hurricane. Rock me like a hurricane, I guess. Oh, there we are. We've arrived at the botanical lab. Move along, stranger. We don't ah. want any trouble. No do I. Hello there, Grace Rambo. That's Romero. Uh, whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I want her as a freaking companion. She looks like that guy out of Westworld or whatever, doesn't she? What's your problem? Sweet. Answers, huh? Eh. You must be one of those philosophicals. 
Mm, not really. Got ourselves one of those. Oh, you really? Okay, do you want two? Freaking. Well, I'm looking for a geo. Nom, 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 nom. Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. You look at that. wandering around my camp. Not Your camp. I got my sights on you. All right. Cool. Awesome. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Well, that's what I just Enough freaking did. Questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Oh. Explains why you're still yammering on at me. Yeah, I want you as a companion. No, you're freaking I'm awesome. Sorry. That was unworthy of me. Oh. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. I'll go find her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Sweet. The world's a wide place. I just got a new mission to go find Zoe. I think this lady might become a companion of mine. Her girls. Mm -hmm. Could do without the gallows humor. All right, fair enough. All right, cool. Over in the hot house, tending crop. Thank you. I'll tell you what I can. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. I'll go check it. Don't you worry. Cool, yeah. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, Stephen. he does. Got to find Stefan. All right. Cool, yeah. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. I really like her hat. I like the voice acting in this too. It's actually pretty good. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. Right. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I can tell. It's always about the skills, people trafficking, all that sort of shenanigans, my friend. The marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. And then there's the darker things, you know, like organ harvesting. What is it? Nothing. I'm good. You're, you're good. Go about your business. Golly, oh, thank you for all your help. It was actually quite helpful in the end. Took a bit of getting to, didn't it? But then again, I am a stranger. Just wandering about with a giant freaking gun in my hand that I've obviously took from a marauder. So, yeah, I don't guess I fit in. Well, hello. Hello there, Adelaide. Oh, God. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. She doesn't even know me. Troubles with Edgewater. Leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Okay, this lady's lovely. Dear. Yeah, I don't want to be taking her powers, freaking unit. Oh dear. Um, that's a shame. I've been called that among other things: green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Oh, she seems freaking lovely. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt. Sorry, it's just. You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. <laughs> I should hope so. Yeah. Reed sent me to make peace with you. R really? Um, <laughs> Reed Thompson? You uh, here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? I am. That's yeah. Reed. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You can have enough power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asks that you consider coming back to town. He's willing to make an amends. Something about coming back to the town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Mm. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. You won't be if he turns off the freaking power. This is serious. He's about to cut You're off your doing power. This for yeah. Reed. Why? 
Oh. Okay. Cannery's got a regulator. You want chip parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Kind of agree, to be honest. It. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of hmm. thing a hero would do. Fudge and hack. Fudge and hack. Okay. Oh, God. Mm. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. It's actually quite Road nice. Out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. I suppose. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't like throwing that in her face to get me on your side. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. I mean, they're hard working, they're earning in a way, probably not as much as they should. But I don't know enough about this town yet. But then the welcome that I got was quite warm, you know? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. A trade in a city for a camp. Hmm. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Fudge and heck. Well, that's given me a real freaking hard decision, hasn't it? Alright, cool. Is that it? I... You know what? I... I don't really care for either of these two towns, to be honest. You know, both of them are sort of backwater, washed out. But, yeah, it. I don't overly really mind which one goes because you know if if edgewater falls oh, then everybody comes here he used to follow me around before he left the cannery yeah oh we're supposed to be finding stefan aren't we let's let's go into the old um journal let's see if we can side quest a few kindred spirits gays and romeo disaster of the camp blah 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 blah. grace doesn't know where zeri is that's the one we want let's do that one uh, let's go see if we can find. Let's go see if we can find Zoe quickly. I'm gonna do that as a bit of a side quest, I think, people. You mean Zoe? Yeah, yeah we were pretty close. Oh, this is like Stefan. Loping off. Okay. Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked mm -hmm. Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Right. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. It sounds like she actually likes marauders. Maybe she's joined the Marauders. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She nice. called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Keeping a diary or something. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Right up. Hey, I got time. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. I don't think I need anything. Alright, cool. Is this Zoe's house? We're going to go hopefully find parts of her journal, maybe, people. 
Right, we're looking for scraps of paper. Yeah, Zoe's house. There's something. Zoe's journal, page 18. Good news. I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better too. There's a group of deserters living in the old botanical labs. They've found a way to grow some food, or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide bored up a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms. I suppose it tastes atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an ether, ether wave, and so it's been catching up on serial dramas. Mars Marketeer! What would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbours, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. See what I mean? She likes the marauders. I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a cadre of marauders. A band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. A band of bandits? What would we call ourselves? The Formidable Fourteen? The Hundred Hooligans? Featuring Zoe, Bandit Queen? Right, she does want to be a bandit. That's that's pretty much obvious from that sort of note, isn't it? Oh, there's a freaking another one. Page 22. Well, today's the day. Zoe, today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about marauders' threats. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folks like me. Living a life of comfort and ease and free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organised. I've been tucking away on some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks, if I ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everyone loves Adrena time, even the marauders, right? I got odds those marauders will let me throw in with them if I double, if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. It's going to be great. Look out, Terra 2, Bandit Queen Zoe. Origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzo. I don't know what Rizzo is yet, people. Okay, well, I just got myself some XP um, for reading stuff. Oh, for fudge's sake, there's another one. But we've got the idea. She's a, she wants to be a marauder. She's got ideals of grandeur. So that's it. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams. And would you like another? I don't know why I'm writing this down. For posterity's sake. Because I've always hated the cannery. And I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years. Hence and tell myself, oh, wow. I did help the veil once, didn't I? I did hate the veil. Just because I got sick. Everyone gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I've got to treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to the personal responsibility in surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you have misappropriated one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Um, that's, yeah, that that's kind of how larceny works. Okay, um, let's head on over this way. Oh, for fudge sake, we just found her cannery. <laughs> yeah, fudge and hell. Okay, right. Well, I think I've read enough. I, I know what's happened to her. She's gone to join the frickin' marauders up on a blinking hill, hasn't she? All right, cool. Well, I think we know where we're going now. Um, hopefully the actual mission is actually updated to that. Let's have a quick look. See, in my journal, I've got a journal too. Find Zoe. One of Zoe's journals entries revealed that she secretly planned to run away and join the marauders camp to the east. Okay, that's where we're going then. We're going to the east, east side. Got here. Should I tell this lady that I'm going to go freaking murdercate something? Oh look, she's already murdercated something. Right, I what think I know she... where she is. Oh, great. No worries then. I was hoping I could say, you know, um, oh, getting a load of free meat. Why the fudge not? I didn't kill these, but that's that's handy. Right, well, we're heading over this way then. Zoe Chandler. Oh great! Look, she's right in the middle of a freaking marauders camp. All right, well let's let's just take out some of these guys, shall we? Unless, oh for fudge, there's loads of them. All right, well we're going to kill all of the marauders, so she hasn't got much of a choice to just come with us. Yeah, I can move left to right, and that 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 is scuppier. 
Who are you shooting at, love? I can't see you shooting at, but we're gonna have we're gonna Oh for fudge's sake! The whole looting mechanic, that's gonna do my head in. Well it already is doing my head in. What do you shooting? Okay. Yeah, fine. Oh yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Biddly biddly be. Oh look, there's another doggo here. We'll have that. Hello, chap. Chapette. Well, she murdered quite a few. She done quite good that time, didn't she? All right, well, we've just taken out the marauders that marauding outside of the edge of the camp. I, I wish the NPCs would loot. Maybe they do, I don't know. Okay. I know, like in um, Gr um, Dragon's Dogma, they used to loot. I don't like the look of you. Okay, here we go. Oh, he was tamed, was he? Well. Oh. She has got herself a whole band of freaking marauders. Got you! Ha 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 ha! Oh, don't go and Rambo it, love. Wait for me. Oh, she's really Ramboed it. She's doing pretty good. Really? They're like two minutes away. Oh, do you mean from the old cannery? Well, this place is quite doing quite well, to be honest, isn't it? What the fudge? Where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? Oh, up there. No, no. We find this box. All right, there you go, done. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Oh my days, you that easy to just swap from your marauder life to, yeah, okay, you're sorry. Your people are looking for you. Yep. Only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down. Never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas. You, yeah. on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Righto. Mm -hmm. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. But just killed all your mates. What are you going to do? Yeah. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Okay, I don't know whether I want this person on my team. You know, she doesn't care that I just freaking tore that guy's head off. Okay. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Well, Stefan did. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation, unlike these hooligans. Cool. I'll All take right. my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Great. Okay. So, we're going to go back to see Grace. And I think once we get back to see Grace, I think that's probably where I, I, I draw this to a close, people. What the f actual fudge? What did, what did you do? Did you just kill her? Okay, you stepped on a landmine. Okay, watch where you step. Alright, come on, let's go, let's go. I looted you, I guess. Okay, and I've run out of ammo on my other gun. And maybe I've got some more ammo now that I've looted all those bodies. Let's just have a check. Yes, we've got more ammo. Lovely. We've only got nine bullets, though. Okay, fun times. I could do with some more ammo for this gun. I like this gun a little bit more than the little handgun. Well, the little handgun seems to hold itself quite well. Oh, look, there's a box here. 
I guess I don't have enough lock picking skills for that little shite. Okay, well let's head on back over this way then. Hold on. How did I get back here so blinking quick? Right. What is it? Well I found her, didn't I? I talked to Zoe, she's coming home. Get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She signed up to abandon marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Yeah, something. Uh, uh... You go. pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Well, that'd be nice. Let me know if I can do something for you. Wow. Okay. Cool. Brilliant. Okay. There's nothing that I asked for, which is a bit mental. Um. Yeah. Okay, one of your weapons and armor is, items is broken. Oh, fine. Yeah, well, I tried to fix it. Look, there's a blinking... Oh, there's a spanner on this one now as well. All right, options. I want to repair the dang thing. Yeah, repair. And then I say yes, except your weapon parts. Weapon parts required seven. I haven't got enough weapon parts. Right. Okay. Fun times. Oh, what's this? Look, that looks cool. But um, that's pretty broken as well. Hmm. I don't know whether I can break these down to get weapon parts off of them. Uh, let's let's see if I can. Equip. Break down. There we go. Ah ha ha! Right, so that one's two hundred and fifteen DPS. So is that one. I might as well just break this one down as as well then. Oh no. Okay. Might as well take that one off. Um, options. I might as well break that down. Oh, I can't. Okay. Swap. Unequip. Yeah, unequip. No, I can't, apparently. Right, fine. Can I unequip that one? Yes, I can. Alright, well, well, we'll break this one down into parts then, shall we? Now, I should have enough weapon parts to fix this one. I'm getting the hang of this now, people. Alright, how many weapon parts do I need to fix this little handgun? Twelve parts to fix that. Well, that's 110. That's 108. Can I unequip this then? Unequip. And I'll just put that one on. <laughs> Simple as. Okay, cool. That's 135 DPS. That's only 110. That's actually really quite nice, but I need to be at level 5 before I can use it. Nice, we're going to have to... That one looks pretty cool, doesn't it? What the fudge is that? Light machine gun. 320 DPS. Oh, I'm going to have to give that a go. Okay, people. Well, I think we've got a nice little selection of weapons. I think we've managed to sort ourselves out towards the end there. Uh, I've, I've already finished my cup of tea. My cup of tea is thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. But you know what? I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this, um, this game. Um, let's just go to save. There we go. Save game. Uh, yeah, there we, there we go. I'll just hit new save data. Fine. Anyway, people, I think we're pretty do good to go, aren't we? I'll just put idle camera on. I do like this. I'm getting into this, people. Hope you're enjoying this. So there we go. We went and found Zoe in this episode. Salute to Mondo. Take care. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.